topic 5.6, part two, chromosomal inheritance, non-disjunction and chromosomal variation. To help you study, I've put together a checklist that you can download at apbiosuccess.com slash checklist. What is non-disjunction? What are its consequences? Non-disjunction is kind of a cool word. So a junction is where things come together. A disjunction would be things coming apart and non-disjunction means things failing to separate. It's when the homologous pairs or the sister chromatids don't separate during meiosis. There's a couple of variations. In meiosis one, the homologs don't separate. And as a result, so you see that over here, this blue uh, chromosome over here, these homologs didn't separate, they stayed together. So the result is that in meiosis two, uh, we're gonna have three chromatids on this side, three over here, one over here, one over here. So 50% of the gametes are N haploid plus one extra and 50% are N minus one. So N, the haploid number, missing a chromosome. If non-disjunction occurs during meiosis two, it involves the sister chromatids not separating. In meiosis two, the sister chromatids don't pull apart. So the result is that 25% of the gametes are N plus one, 25% are N minus one. In other words, the haploid number, but missing one. And then 50% of the gametes will be normal. So that's what non-disjunction is and how it can happen in meiosis one or meiosis two. I want to acknowledge how difficult and complex some of these concepts can be, and I want to encourage you to go to learn-myology.com, and with a free trial, you can do the tutorials and you can use our unit reviews, and it's going to really help you to get on top of this material, setting you up for success on your unit test or the AP Bio exam. We saw in the last slide how non-disjunction during meiosis one or meiosis two can result in gametes that have an abnormal number of chromosomes. If the eggs are N plus one, they have the haploid number plus one more, then the zygote will have an extra chromosome. Then what we have is a trisomy. And what that means, tri is three. Instead of a homologous pair with two, we have three. The most famous example of that is Down syndrome, which is a trisomy of the 21st chromosome, which has various developmental consequences and developmental delays. If the eggs are N minus one, like over here or over here, and the sperm, again, are carrying a normal number of chromosomes, so that's not necessarily the case. You can have non-disjunction that occurs during the formation of sperm as well. But then the zygotes will have a missing chromosome. So they'll have all of the homologous pairs, but one will be short. And the result of that is a monosomy, and most of those aren't really survivable except in the case of the sex chromosomes. So uh, one to know is called Turner syndrome, where instead of females having two X chromosomes, they have one. And there's a significant amount of variation that could happen in the sex chromosomes. There can be men who are born with an extra X chromosome. There can be men who are born with an X and two Y chromosomes. So those are all chromosomal variations that come about through non-disjunction followed by fertilization. Here are your next moves for AP Bio Success. Please subscribe to learn-biology.com and please watch this next video.